Welcome back, folks. I changed it a little bit down here at the Yonkers uh, steel mill because this traffic was just crazy. So I had a suggestion that I make the exit on the other side, which I have done. And I have done it so that it can go either, or the trucks can go either left or right, because we want, some of them want to go left, some of them want to go right. So hopefully that loosens up this traffic jam a bit because there is quite the traffic jam uh, I am considering uh, let's do large country roads here this will collide let's try and upgrade this a bit and see if that'll help and let's upgrade this as well uh, something is going on not sure what I think maybe the game is crashing no Come on. Okay, something happened. Let's get this upgraded. Hopefully all of this helps a bit. I'd very much like... Uh, let's just put in a little bit of road here. Uh, too much slope. Let's put in a little bit of road here. And we can upgrade this as well. And then we can bulldoze that little bit of road. I think this will be good for us. Now I wonder if I could get this upgraded as well. I'd have to move the street over a bit. Which I don't necessarily want to do. We're in 1999. So continuing on with a little bit of a about me uh, I actually went out as a tour guide in 1999 well actually it was in 1998 I guess I went out as a tour guide uh, I worked in, in several uh, countries I worked for a Scandinavian travel agency uh, so I worked in the Czech Republic I worked in Cyprus I worked in Egypt as a kind of uh, historical uh, excursion tour guide went to the pyramids to Luxor to Saqqara all kinds of places a lot of fun I loved working in Egypt it was absolutely amazing uh, after Egypt I went to uh, Indonesia to Bali I worked in Bali for eight months I actually celebrated uh, New Year's 1999-2000 in uh, Egypt and in the summer of uh, 2000 well spring of 2000 I uh, I went to, to Bali and worked there for eight months which was fantastic all right is this loosening up just a little bit it looks like it is uh, let's remove this traffic light because traffic lights just uh, they're just annoying uh, let's delete that uh, there's no traffic light there there's no traffic light there all right hopefully that helps a bit as well It seems like it's loosening up a bit, so that's good. Now, 
Today, I also want to focus on this area here because I want that airport in here. So this road is going to have to move. And I also want, so this guy and this guy uh, can actually produce more than they can, than they are. So we kind of want to get uh, some of this going on to hoppers on the spine, which we'll also do, I hope. Uh, if we have the time. But let's start by getting this big passenger airport in here. And we'll turn it this way. And we'll have it right around here. So this road really needs to go. Um, so let's pause the game. And we'll bulldoze a bit of this road. Let's pull it back to there. And we'll get this airport in... ...kind of, sort of there, I guess. Yep. And we'll configure it, and we'll get a second runway. Now, a taxiway. I don't understand where... Aha. Uh -huh. Let's put a taxiway in there. Actually, that's one way. Let's bulldoze that taxiway again. And let's try and rotate it. Can't do that. I want it to go the other way. I guess I can't. Okay. And, oops, we want lights there okay so now that goes that way that goes that way beautiful and i think we're going to do that at the other airports as well uh, but let's start by getting this hooked in and hooked up so that we can let the game move on we're going to do the large country road It's a tad too close. That works. Oh, that looks terrible. Um, okay. Is it coming down to the height of the airport? I think it kind of sort of is. Uh, can we... I want it to come down there. Uh, I'm not sure if this is working. Right, let's try it again. That looks better. Like so. And it'll come straight into there. And put in a traffic light, so let's remove that. And And this will come around here. Follow that. Okay. And it'll come into there. And I think we'll upgrade this road all the way to there. 
And we'll upgrade this road as well, but just to the smaller ones. Because we're going to have buses going. We'll upgrade this as well. Uh, let's do that, and then do that. Okay. Any other roads that we want to upgrade while we're at it? Suppose this one. And we can upgrade this one as well. Um, this is fine. Let's upgrade there. Alright. That seems good to me. Okay, now we want a bus stop here. And I kind of want... So how many lines are we going to have coming in here? We're going to have Murrieta, Olaith, Lubbock, and Hialeah. So that's four bus lines coming in. So... Four lane bus and farm station. That looks nice. That looks really nice. That's a good looking station. Alright. So, new line from there to there. Uh, And we will rename all these sidings, sidings, I think. Um, let's see, if we got the road hooking over to here, I think we'll do that. Uh, so... Uh, let's make it a uh, city road, and that will hook into there, because then we can add a station down here. And we will call this... Uh, Murrieta and Olaith Olaither Airport Connection. Okay. And the color is fine. Let's see what's that's called Murrieta Airport, that's fine. So this is gonna be called Murrieta. Airport, bus, terminal. Okay, so that's one in there. Then we will do another new line from there to there. And this will be Lubbock. Uh, what did we call the other one? Uh, Murrieta and Olaith Airport Connection. So this one will be Lubbock. Airport Connection. Okay, 
and the color is fine. And then we will have Hialeah Airport connection as well. So another new line from there. So there. And this will be Hialeah Airport connection. Okay, so let's get some vehicles on those. Uh, we have a road depot there, passenger, mm, let's go with the Maz and we will go with 15. We will make them their color. I'm pretty sure it was this one. And we'll put it on Murrieta and Olaith. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was this one. All right, Murrieta and Olaith Airport connection. Wonderful. Okay, now we could run this road across the tracks as well here. You know what, let's do that. Um, streets, uh, city, that looks fine. And we'll come in here and we will move that. Okay, so now uh, that should go that way, yeah. And then it'll come out and then we'll go that way. Okay, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Um, I think we might need to make this a little bit bigger. There's a lot of people waiting. No, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. So then we need some vehicles down here. Actually, we'll just buy them up here in Murrieta. That's fine. Uh, buy vehicles. We'll go with... The Volvo, and we'll get 15 of them. Uh, what's the Hialeah Airport connection color? Uh, uh, it's that one, I think. Uh, Hialeah Airport connection. And then by vehicles, we'll get... Hmm. The new flyer go transit. Get ten of those. And what is the Lubbock airport connection color? Uh, guess it's the red one. Okay. So. Those can come out and start doing their thing. There they come. All our buses. Okay, uh, then we need two new plane routes. So, new line from there up to Abilene. And this we will call 
Now, what did we call the other one? NG3256. Okay, so this will be NG3256. Uh, uh, come on. From... Oh, from... Uh, Murrieta, so we'll call this Mur to uh, Abba to Mur. Okay, and the color is fine, I guess. Uh, so we made you that color. Let's make you this color. And then we need another new plane line. New line from there down to here. And this will be NG. Three, five, six, four, for whatever reason, from uh, Mer to VBA to Mer. Okay, and we can buy. Plane. Hmm. I'm kind of considering these guys. Hmm. Twenty passengers. Well, let's just do select passenger. Yeah, let's do these. And we'll buy... I guess we'll buy two down here. And... This is... This one, so they need to be... Red. And Mer VB Mer. Then up here, uh, we only have one terminal here. So we oh, can't fit. Okay, we'll just have one terminal, I guess. So here we want to buy vehicles, and I want this one, I just want, well let's get two, and these two will go on the same line. Then we'll get two, hmm, Embraer's. They're fast, but they can only carry 19 people. Uh, let's get two of you. And we'll put, well, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, let's. Uh, give you your color and put you on Mer Abba. What's going on? The game is really hacking at the moment. Hello? There we go. And then up here. Where is it? There. 
We have five vehicles, two more of the Embraers. Uh, make you your color and put you on your line. Okay. We don't have any passengers here at all yet. There's quite the size difference here, but that's okay. Uh, we are going to a new plane. That was A380. I wonder what the capacity is on those. Uh, A lot of A380s. Uh, we'll get a taxiway going like that. And then we will smooth this so it doesn't look so horrendous. Okay. And down at the other end, we'll get a taxiway as well. Uh, we'll figure taxiway and just a little bit of smoothing here. Okay. Let's have a quick look at our new aircraft. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, I want to see what the capacity is on those A380s. Uh, 105. Okay. Which airlines do we have in here? French something? Uh, we have Emirates, obviously. We have Lufthansa. Mulan Air. Kwanzaa, Singapore Airlines. Okay. Now, I want to get this road going over here. So let's do that. Uh, I guess, is it this one I used? Yeah, it is. Uh, like that. And then... That, that's some bend there. It looks a little weird, but it is what it is. I guess it'll look less weird if we use this one. Right, because now we can edit this line. We can call it Virginia Beach, or oh, Virginia, Virginia, Virginia Beach, and Waterbury Airport Shuttle, and after Waterbury West, we'll send you over here and then we will send you back to Waterbury West like that and I actually think I forgot to do that in uh, on the other one uh, up here uh, the Murrieta and Olathe one uh, yeah I did so add station there okay 
So we have a passenger here if somehow. Ooh, and we have a passenger in the airport. Nice! We actually have a passenger who wants him to go to Virginia Beach. And you are going to pick that passenger up. I think maybe we need to turn this into a bridge or a tunnel. is probably the easier choice but I'm not sure other than that we'll f we'll see how it goes how backed up we get okay so that's that now I'm kind of hoping that having this here will take some of the pressure off these guys Um, but what we could do as well we have four trains on this god that's a hideous color what if we edited them Or replace them. Let's replace them instead. And we'll go diesel. We try this one. Yes, I think we do. Uh, so add that. Add that. Then we'll go passenger. Uh, so this would go. What? 120. The one they have now can go what? I don't know. Let's get one that can go a bit faster. 165 seems good. And passenger cars, you can go 140, you can go 209, 200, 180, 180. Yeah, 180 is fine, but it doesn't really matter if they can go faster. So let's go one, two. Wow, it went down to good immediately. Let's put a cafe and there. 98 passengers. Oh, this can actually do. So these can do 33. We have four of them. So that's. Well, we have three of them. So that's 99 passengers. So, do something like that. I don't think we have any high inclines here. It's 200 meters. What we could do is add you. That makes it mediocre. Do we replace with that? Why not? There it is. Okay. I kind of like it. 
I kind of like it. So if we take a look at this, it has a rate of 836. And let's see. You're getting full, that's for sure. Right? Yeah. And how many do we have left? 438. Uh, you only have 41 on board. That's when it goes down to Provo. Provo isn't that popular. That might have something to do with the fact that I don't have a bus line going around Provo. So we're actually not catching the entire city, but it's damn close. It's close. All right, what was the other one that was full here? Well, that's the Midland Olathe commuter that is completely full. 730 people, only three wanting to go to Topeka though. And Topeka has three people wanting to go to Lubbock. You have five people wanting to go to Lubbock. And so, a lot wanting to go down there, but not a lot wanting to come back. That kind of sucks. Uh, this one we already dealt with Murrieta to Macula commuter a lot of people wanting to go to Murrieta but not to, to Macula I think we could do with a little bit more uh, Murrieta to Macula let's see we have six vehicles Let's replace. Now, what locomotive is this? The EMD AEM. Uh, EMD AEM. It can do 200. And coach phase three. Uh, doesn't look like we have those anymore. What's the capacity of these trains? Uh, 84. And what's the rate of the line? 636. Okay, so if we go diesel, what's the fastest diesel that we have? It is, in fact, that one. But if we did... Let's see, the passenger, these guys can do 140. So let's find a train that does around 140. This one. Hmm. There are some different looks on these. Let's do Wisconsin Central. Uh, then we'll add Bombardiers. It doesn't really matter. So let's do two of you, two of you. That's 132 capacity. That's quite a bit more than it was before. And then we'll go with the EMD 
again. And we'll go with uh, Wisconsin Central Reverse and add that. And that's a good grade, nice. Replace those for 147 million. Okay. Let's find one. There's one. Okay. It's not a bad looking train. It is not a bad looking train. I like it. In fact, I like it a lot. Oh, trees, trees. Yeah. Not bad. Alright, so let's hope that fixes that up a bit. Jesus, there's a lot waiting here. Um, we're picking up some logs here. We're going to be full. Okay. You're waiting to come into the station. Uh, for yet little food and goods. That is Santa Rosa crude and oil. Oh, there. Uh, this is a busy train station. Look at that. I love it. Look at that. Right, you're going to come in. I love it. This is great. 154,000. And it's coming out full. Beautiful. Okay. So... So far, so good. Uh, let's see, where did we build our headquarters? Was it in Olath? I want to quickly see our headquarters. Or was it in Lubbock? Headquarters, there it is. Let's have a look. That is a good looking building. I like it. Company score 118, 7 billion in assets. Almost eight. Liquidity almost five billion. Inventory well two point seven billion. That is very, very nice. No debts profit in the last twelve months, thirty-five million. But we did buy planes and other kinds of stuff. Train planes and trains, buses. So, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I quickly want to... Well, that was not my intention to zoom out that far. See, how many passengers do we have here? Nine. We're coming in with zero. We have zero. Uh, let's take a look at our lines so we have 39 people on board that one one person on board the Murrieta Abilene and no one going on this one that's a shame Hopefully they'll start coming. And here we do actually have two, so why don't you go on Terminal 1? Okay. Ooh, we can make paper here. Just set up a stop and bring it over nice. Okay. 
Well, we didn't have time to do the hopper spine line, but we will do it in the next one because I want the hopper spine line. I really, really do. So that we can start moving grain and um, what's it called? Coal and iron around on the spine as well. That'll be good for us, I think. Uh, you have Fresno meat plant, Yonkers coffee refinery, Rosewell coffee refinery. Okay. Well, we have some food sitting here waiting. 32. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Alright. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.